oscillator set for 500 hertz okay so what we have here yeah um 500 hertz this is the frequency and puts out a sinusoidal voltage of 100 volt effective okay this 100 volt should be the source voltage and um but because I didn't mention it is no specify whether it is root mean square value or peak value yeah is it a root mean square voltage or peak voltage uh, so this one is a root mean square voltage yeah if no specify uh, this is a root mean square source voltage okay this 100 volt uh, is um, uh, VRMS root mean square source voltage okay uh, because no specify means root mean square value and then we have the okay this is the resistance uh, to 24 ohm uh, this one 10 microfarad capacitor okay this is a uh, capacitance uh, and uh, you have 50 millihenry inductor so this is L okay so resistant capacitance inductor so this is a uh, uh, RCL circuit okay RCL circuit now um, what will be the emitter in the circuit read so this one he asked for uh, he, this one is root mean square current yeah no specify means root mean square value okay not the peak value and what will be the okay this is the emitter then the voltmeter for each element okay this is the VRMS for each element so we will need to find three things um, sorry yeah VRMS for resistant and then we need to find VRMS for capacitant and then VRMS for inductant okay uh, VRMS resistant VRMS capacitant VRMS inductor and then uh, find the real power dissipated in the circuit so the real power okay the real power is also called the uh, real power is also called the uh, average power yeah or also called the mean power or also called the power dissipated or power loss because power only lost in power, power only lost in the resistor uh, in in capacitor inductor there's no power loss yeah there's no power loss because power uh, power uh, power stored and power return yeah in inductor or capacitor okay so that's the, the question. No specify whether it is root mean square value or peak value. So it is always assumed to be root mean square value. Okay. So just now the 100 volt is a VRMS source. Yeah? Source voltage at root mean square value. Okay. And then the capacitance. This is the RCL circuit. The capacitance is micro. Need to change to SI unit. Negative uh, 6. So milli is uh, negative three, yeah. So remember to change to SI unit first. Now I want to find the root mean square current. So to find the root mean square current, uh, we need to find the impedance, yeah. First we must find impedance, but uh, before that we need to find the resistance and reactance. Okay. So reactance uh, XC. Uh, let's find the XC equal to uh, formula of xc is 1 over omega c okay uh, omega is uh, 2 pi f uh, okay so uh, just substitute uh, f is a uh, 500 capacitance is um, uh, 10 uh, negative 6 so the answer is 31.831 ohm this is xc now we need to find xl also xl is a uh, formula xl is omega l which is uh, omega is 2 pi f uh, substitute f is 500 uh, 
uh, L is a uh, 50 milli Henry okay so after multiply we will get uh, the answer uh, 157 point zero eight ohm okay uh, so that is X XL so now we already got the XC XL so then uh, re resistance also we have so we can find impedance huh? first we must find impedance so to find impedance um, we must draw phasor diagram okay draw a phasor diagram draw a phasor diagram yeah draw a phasor diagram um, okay and this is the current okay so resistance is always uh, in phase with the current okay sorry yeah resistance is always in phase with current uh, and then uh, we can see XL is bigger than XC. XL157 bigger than XC. So XL is always going up. XC is going down. Okay? Uh, so the one going up should be longer than the one going down. XL is longer than XC. XC is smaller. Okay? So uh, XL always go up, XC always go down. Yeah. So we can see uh, XL minus XC. So the resultant is uh, going up. Uh, yeah. XL minus XC. So this uh, and then we must combine this one the re uh, with the resistance. So this one is the impedance ah we got the impedance and this angle is phi okay uh, so to find the impedance uh, so we use the pythagoras theorem we do the pythagoras theorem so of course the uh, first of all is the resistance uh, square and then this the y component xl minus xc uh, square uh, okay so what do we get here so resistance is uh, 24 square and then XL is a uh, 157.08 minus uh, 31.831 square okay uh, so uh, so what do we get what do we get so we will get Finally, 127.53 ohm. Okay. Uh, we got this. Uh, this is our impedance. So, now we can find our root mean square current. Uh, root mean square current because we have the uh, VRMS source. VRMS source voltage. Uh, and we have the impedance so we can find the root mean square current so we just use a formula VRMS source okay is equal to I RMS when RMS voltage then RMS current if it is source source voltage then it is the whole thing impedance okay V equal to I R formula uh, so just substitute VRMS uh, source just now is uh, VRMS source is 100 volt so VRMS source is 100 volt and then uh, impedance is a uh, 127.53 okay 127.53 so uh, our root mean square current is um, 0. 784 ampere that's our answer yeah for root mean square current 0 0.784 ampere now the next one is uh, asked for uh, okay he asked for the volt vrms for each element 
Uh, that means he asked for VRMS for resistant, for capacitant, for inductor, for each element. Uh, and we know that the IRMS is the same for all elements. Yeah. So we just use the formula. Um, yeah. The IRMS is the same for all elements because it is a series. Uh, series RCL circuit so the same current passes through all the components so all of them receive the same current IRMS so how to find the VRMS for each element so just use their respective uh, formula so VRMS R equal to IRMS R okay uh, so uh, VIRMS just now is um, z, uh, IRMS is VR uh, IRMS is 0 0.784 so just substitute 0 0.784 0 0.784 times 24 ohm so what do we get we get 18 18.816 volt okay 18.816 volt now, uh, how about VRMS C huh, for the capacitor? So how? So uh, R is equal to I RMS. If VC, then we use XC. Uh, if VC, use XC. If VR, use IR. Yeah. Use uh, if VR, then R. If VC is XC. So, uh, just substitute the current just now, the because same current uh, for the series circuit. XC, we got just now, XC is uh, 31.831. Yeah? Uh, XC is 31.831. So, we got it. So, the answer is uh, uh, 24. 96 volt yeah 24.96 volt so the lastly is the inductor so vrms vrms for the inductor just use the i rms multiply when vl then xl okay when vc use xc when vl use xl okay uh, so same current, same current, uh, then the, in, the inductive reactance is uh, 157.08, yeah, uh, yeah, XL is uh, 157, so just use the 157.08, so the answer we get is uh, 123 point. 1.5 volt that's the answer then lastly is the uh, to find the real power dissipated in the circuit so we know that the real power is uh, same as uh, power loss or power dissipated in resistor or you also call the mean power sometimes it ask for mean power or average power uh, so they are the same thing okay uh, this is also equal to real power or power loss. So the formula for this one, the mean power, average power, real power, or loss, power loss, uh, is using the IRMS root mean square current square times resistance because power only loss in resistor. So this one just use resistor. Okay. Uh, so what's the answer? So this is a zero point seven eight four square times resistance twenty four. So we get um uh, we get fourteen point seven five watts. Uh, that's the answer. Okay, that's the power, real power or power loss in resistor. Okay, bye bye.